Unit 7. We had a great time. 1. Snapshot. Look at the picture. What do you see here? In their free time, the top 8 leisure time activities in the United States. Leisure, free time. What do you do in your free time? In the USA, in the United States, people do what in their free time? Some people read, watch TV, spend time with family, fish, fish, catch fish, do gardening, play sports, go to the movies, go to the movies, go to the cinema. Spend time with friends. Spend, spend time with friends. Spend time with friends. Check through the activities you do in your free time. In your free time. What do you like to do? In my free time, I read and I watch TV. In my free time, I play sports and go to the movies. In my free time, I spend time with friends. Three other activities you do in your free time. In my free time, I visit my uncle. I visit my relatives. In my free time, I chat on the internet, I check my email, I browse the internet, I surf the internet. In my free time, I play football. In my free time, I go to the park. I go to Dream Park. In my free time, I talk to my mother. In my free time, I hang out with my friends. Hang out with my friends. I hang out with my friends. In my free time, I do shopping. I go shopping. Number two. Conversation. Did you do anything special? Look at the back chart. What do you see? Young lady. She's singing. Are the people happy? No, the people are not happy. They're very angry. They don't want to listen to her. They don't want to listen to her. They don't want to listen to her. The second picture. Student. What's he doing? Is he listening to music? No. He has a book. Spanish. Spanish book. So what's he doing? He's studying. He's studying Spanish. Let's listen to this conversation. Unit 7. We had a great time. Page 44. Exercise 2. Conversation. Did you do anything special? Part A. Listen and practice. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. 
This conversation you have Frank and Meg. What did Meg do last weekend? Meg had a great time. She went to karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. What's the karaoke bar? A karaoke bar is like a cafe. If you'd like to sing, you can go and sing. You're not singer. Did Meg go to Lucky's? Lucky's name of karaoke bar. No, no she didn't. She went to that new place downtown. What about Rick? What did Rick do? Did Rick go to anywhere? No, he didn't. He just stayed home and studied for the Spanish test. What about Meg? Did Meg start on the weekend? No, she forgot that she had a Spanish test. Is Meg a good student? Meg is excellent, is an excellent student. Meg is an excellent student. She always got an A. An A, excellent. A, excellent. Now number B, listen to the rest of the conversation. What did Meg do on Sunday? On Sunday, what did Meg do? Let's start to listen. Page 44, Exercise 2, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What did Meg do on Sunday? So, Meg, what did you do on Sunday? I stayed home in the morning. I just watched TV and read. How about in the afternoon? Oh, I worked. I have a part-time job at the university bookstore. I didn't know you had a job. Yeah, I'm a cashier there. Listen again. Day. So, Meg, what did you do on Sunday? I stayed home in the morning. I just watched TV and read. How about in the afternoon? Oh, I worked. I have a part-time job at the university bookstore. I didn't know you had a job. Yeah, I'm a cashier there. What did Meg do in her weekend? I'm in the morning. So in the morning, she stayed home and watched TV. Then she read, read, present, read, past, read. After that, she worked a part-time job in the afternoon. So in the afternoon, she worked a part-time job. She's a cashier in the university bookstore. Bookstore, bookshop, a place to sell books in the university. In the university, bookstore. Page 45. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Simple path. Simple path. Simple path expresses an action that happened in the past and finished. Form, subject, verb, plus D, ED, or IED. Yesterday, Ahmed played football. Last week, Ahlam visited her sister. A month ago, I traveled. I traveled to the U.S. Take care. Traveled or traveled. Both are correct. Traveled with one L, American. 
traveled double L British. In 2015, my sister worked in company. In the past, we studied English. If the verb ends in Y, what should we do? If you have consonant before the Y, should add IED. IED. Study Y plus ED. Studied. Make it IED. Cross Y. Remove Y and put IED. Remove Y and add IED. Add put. So study plus ED. Studied. Because there is consonant. Consonant B, C, D, F, G, H, J. So consonant. No. A, E, I, O, U. Not a vowel. Okay? Any letter, but not a vowel. Study, studied. Study, Y, remove Y, and put I, E, D. Studied. If the verb ends in a vowel, vowel, A, E, I, O, U, plus Y, add E, D. Play, play it. So you put ed, play, played, vowel here, we have a for y, a played, play, played, right. verbs in past, with ed, the verb here, the d, I can say t, ed, or d, hop, hopped, ask, asked, laugh, laughed, miss, missed, Wash, washed, watch, watch it. So the D here becomes T, the sound. Visit, visited, intend, intended, and ended. Again, visited, intended, ended. So the E the becomes ed, visited, intended, ended. So if there is T or D at the end of the verb when you add ED it becomes ED if I didn't pronounce ED T or ED it's D love loved listen listen T silent listened claim claimed play played Stay, stay, stayed. Again, let's read them. Hoped, asked, laughed, missed, washed, watched, ed, visited, tended, ended, the, loved, listened, claimed, played, stayed. Y hmm. T here E D becomes T sound because before the ed the sound of P K F S Sh Sh and S S Ed T D plus E D and Ed T D Ed The key words, the simple past, simple past, yesterday, ago, last, in the past, in 2015, in 2000, anything in the past. Last, last week, last month, last year, ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. First, let's look at some vocabulary for our verbs 
in the past tense. In English, we have regular verbs, and regular verbs use ed for the past tense form. Here we have the present tense forms, and you are going to see these verbs today, but in the past tense. So let's look. Exercise in the past is exercised with ed. Watch in the past, watched. Visit in the past, visited. Study in the past, studied. Play in the past, played. Talk in the past, talked. Now notice, for the regular verbs, they are always ed in the past. Exercised, watched, visited, studied, played, and talked. So the regular verbs are mm, easy, but the other verbs we have today are the irregular verbs. And the irregular verbs do not use ed. And that's why we call them irregulars. So these verbs in the present tense are verbs you are going to see today, but in the past. So what is the past of be? We have was and were. Was is for singular subjects. For example, the subjects I, he, she, and it are singular, so we use the verb was for the past tense of be. The subjects you, they, and we are plural or can be plural, so we use the past tense were for the verb be. The other irregular verbs, get up, is, got up. Eat, in the past, ate, ate. Go, in the past, went. Have, in the past, had. Do, in the past, did and sleep in the past. Slept. Slept. Very good. Okay, for the test, do you remember the past tense? For B, we use was and were. Get up, got up. Eat in the past, ate. Go in the past, went. Have in the past, had. Do in the past, did. And sleep in the past is slept. Very good. Now pay attention because you are going to hear these verbs in the past tense today. Now. For the past tense, let's look at the affirmation. In the past, we used the subject and the verb in the past tense conjugation. And there is no third person in the past tense. So for example, in the past, in this sentence, I say, I went to class. And for this one, I also say, she went to class. Again, there is no third person in the past tense. All subjects use the same form of the verb in the past tense. Now, let's look at the negative in the past tense. We use the subject 
And the auxiliary in the past tense, we use didn't for the negative. So, didn't is the past tense conjugation for the negative past. And remember, in the present tense, the verb is used in the normal form. And in the negative, again, we put the conjugation of the past on the auxiliary, and the verb is normal. For example, in the past, I can say this sentence, I didn't go to class. Again, the past tense conjugation is on the auxiliary, and I use the normal verb. For this one, it's the same. She didn't go to class. Remember, all subjects use the same past tense conjugation, and the conjugation for the past is on the auxiliary. Remember, don't touch the verb. It's the normal form of the verb. So, to review, in the past tense, for the affirmation, all subjects use the same past tense conjugation. There is no third person in the past tense. For example, I went to class, she went to class. In the negative, the auxiliary we use for the past didn't and the normal verb. For example, I didn't go to class and she didn't go to class. Very good. The past tense, yes and no questions. Okay, time for the grammar. And today's grammar is the past tense, yes, no questions. To start the past tense question, we use the auxiliary verb did then the subject, then the verb, and the verb is in the base form, the normal verb. Do not use the verb in the past tense. The past tense conjugation is on the auxiliary, did. Again, the verb is in the base form. The answer, we use yes and the subject, and did, or no, and the subject, and didn't. Okay, let's look at some examples. Remember, did starts the question for the past, then the subject, then the verb. For example, did you see the Eiffel Tower? Remember, did is in the past and the main verb is in the base form. Did you see the Eiffel Tower? Yes, I did. Another example. Did you like the food? Again, did starts the question in the past and we use the base form of the verb, like. Did you like the food? No, I didn't. Remember, the negative form of the auxiliary. No, I didn't. Question. Question? Double H questions. Where? Where did she play basketball? Where did she play basketball? Question word, such as where, did, Subject plus main verb. Where did she play basketball? For the question, question word, question word like where, when, what, why, who, how, plus dead, subject plus main verb. Now, let's answer. Complete these conversations, then practice with the partner. A and B, question answer. Now, after we finished it, please, let's answer this question. One minute, try to finish.
1. Did you stay home on Saturday? Did you stay home on Saturday? No, I called my friend. No, I didn't. I called my friend. Short answer. No, I called my friend. We drove to a cafe for lunch. We drove. Drive, drove. 2. How? How did you spend your last birthday? How did you spend your last birthday? I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. 2. How did you spend your last birthday? I had a party. I had a party. Everyone enjoyed it, but the neighbors didn't like the noise. 3. What did you do last night? I went to the new Jimmy Carey film. I loved it. 3. Again. What did you do last night? I went to the new Jim Carrey film. I loved it. Answers. Number 3 again. Dead. Do. When. Loved. 4. Did you do anything special over the weekend? Did you? Did you do anything special over the weekend? Yes, I did. I went shopping. Unfortunately, I spent all my money. Now I'm broke. I'm broke. I don't have money. Four. Dead. Do. Dead. When. Spent, spent. Five. Did you go out on Friday night? Did you go out on Friday night? No, I didn't. I invited friends over and I cooked dinner for them. Dead, go, didn't, invited, invited. Or invited. Can make the tea here as of the invited. Cooked. Ed becomes tasa cooked. Exercise four: pronunciation, reduction if did ye, reduction shortage. Listen and brax. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Listen and then you repeat. Page 45. Exercise 4. Pronunciation. Reduction of did you. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice how did you is reduced in the following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? Page 45. The following questions. Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? Did you? Did you? Not did you know? Did you? Did you have a good time? What did you do last night? Exercise number five. Word power, chores, and activities. Find two other words or phrases from the list. In this exercise, you write these words with these verbs the words the bed a lot of fun t 
تي صاف دي ا فيكيشن ذا ديشز ا جود تايم دانسينج ا تريب ذا لاندري شوبينج سم فوتو كابيز ذيس ار ذا ووردز ذا فيربس دو جو هاف ميك تيك So you put the verb with two words. Like do my homework, go bowling, have a party, make a phone call, take a day off. One minute. Try to answer. Did you finish? Did you finish? Let's answer. Do? Do my homework. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Do my homework. Do the dishes. Do the laundry. Go. Go bowling. Go shopping. Go dancing. Go dancing. Go shopping. Go bowling. Have. Have a party. Have a good time. Have a lot of fun. Have. Have a party. Have a good time. Have a lot of fun. Make. Make a phone call. Make the bed. Make some photocopies. Make a phone call. Make the bed. Make some photocopies. Some photocopies. Take. Take a day off. Take a vacation. Take a trip. Take a day off. Take a vacation. Take a trip. B. Circle the things you did last weekend, then compare with a partner. You make a sentence here. I went bowling with my friends and had a good time. I didn't have a very good time. I did the laundry and blah blah blah. Here in this question, we ask you to make a sentence. Do my homework. I I yesterday I did my homework. Do the dishes. Yesterday I did the dishes. have past had last week i had a party i had a good time i had a lot of fun make made a week ago i made a phone call take take a day off the past took take a vacation Last year I took a vacation. I traveled to Sharm el-Sheikh. So slide number six. Discussion. Any questions? Look at the picture here. What do you see? Some people, some young men and young ladies. What's this? It's a wedding, maybe party, marriage party, maybe, maybe wedding. What are they doing? They're dancing. So this is, what's this? This is a nightclub, a nightclub. Discussion. Any questions? Group work. Take turns, one student makes a statement about the weekend, other students ask questions. One student gonna make a sentence. Other students will try to ask more questions. Yes. A. I went dancing on Saturday night. Where did you go? To the rocket club. Who did you go with? I went with my brother. What time did he go? We went around 10 o'clock. 
How did you like it? I like it a lot. Another example. A. I went to a museum yesterday. Really? Where did you go? To a museum. Which museum? The Egyptian museum. Who did you go with? I went with my brother. What time did you go to the museum? 11 o'clock. How did you like it? I liked it a lot. I liked the museum a lot. Third number seven. Listening. What did you do last night? So John and Laura describe what they did last night. Make true or false. We had a boring time, John or Laura. We had a good time, John or Laura. Who made an old friend, John or Laura. Who got home late around midnight, John or Laura. Let's start to listen. In this exercise, you will think, Who had a boring time, John or Laura? Who had a good time, John, Laura? Who made an old friend, John, Laura? Who got home late? John or Laura. So you have to check through for the correct answer. Let's start to listen. Page 46. Exercise 7. Listening. What did you do last night? Part A. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. Let's answer John. So, who had a boring time? John. Who got home late at night? John. John went home at midnight. John got home late night and he had a boring time. What about Laura? Before we listen to Laura, okay, listen again. What did John do? What did he do? Let's listen again to John. Listen to John and Laura describe what they did last night. Check the correct information about each person. So, what did you do last night, John? Uh, I went to my boss's house for dinner. Really? How was it? Oh, the food was okay, but the people weren't very interesting. They talked about football all night, and I hate football. Then, we watched some boring sports videos. I didn't get home until after midnight. Well, that doesn't sound like much fun. What did John do? John went to his boss's house for dinner. John went to his boss's house for dinner. They talked about football. Then they watched boring sports videos. They watched they watched boring videos about sport. What about Laura? Let's listen to Laura. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Who had a good time? Laura. 
Laura had a good time. Who made an old friend? Laura made an old friend. So we make true for Laura made an old friend, had a good time. Listen again. What did Laura do yesterday? What did she do yesterday? Listen again. I had a great time last night. I went to a party and met an old school friend of mine. We haven't seen each other for years, so we had lots to talk about. We stayed at the party all night. Hmm, it sounds like you had a much better time than I did. Yeah, I guess you're right. Laura had a great time. She met an old school friend. She met her friend. They talked about different things. They had a lot to talk about. She had much fun. Unit 7. We had a great time. 1. Spend, spend, spend. Spend time. Fish. Catch fish. Go fishing. Do gardening. Do gardening. Go to, go to the movies. T soft D. Go to the cinema. In order. In a range. Favorite. Best. Exercise number two. Special. Private. That sound. It seems. Downtown. Downtown. City center. City. City. T soft D. Center and center. City center. A. Excellent. Box store. Box shop. A party. A gathering of people for enjoying food and music. A gathering of people for enjoying food and music. Neighbors. Next by inhabitants. Unfortunately, unfortunately, unluckily, unfortunately, T is of D. I'm broke, I have no money. I'm broke, I have no money. Movie, film. Work, work, work. D. Tahsam, Khan D, and T. Worked, worked. Invite. Invited, invited. Study, studied, studied. Enjoy, enjoy it, enjoy it. Stop, 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 stopped. Do, did, done. Do, dead, done. Forget, forgot, forgotten. Have, had, had. Go went gun. Go went gun. Sing, sang, sung. Spend, spent, spent. T replace the sound of the after the sound of f, k, p, s, ch, sh, and th. Th. Have a T here. Had T. هنطق الدي هتتنطق تي بعد الصوت لو جه في آخر الفعل في الماضي البسيط الصوت ده صوت الإف والكي والبي والأس والسي إتش والأس إتش والتي إتش ث كذي صوت الث مش زي صوت الدال لاف لافت بكت هوبت ريست ريست واتش إت واشت أنيرست a nurse again laugh laughed peck pecked hopped rest watch it washed nursed D is it after the sound of D or T لو will fear اخره D او T انا هنطق بعد ايه N 
intend, intended, intended, invite, invited, invited. Four, reduction, shortage, shortage, reduction. Five, do, do the homework, do the dishes, do the laundry, go, go bowling, go shopping, go dancing, have, have a party, have a good time, spend an enjoyable time, spend an enjoyable time, spend an enjoyable time, have a lot of fun, have a lot of, a lot of fun, make a phone call, make the bed, make some photocopies, make some photocopies, take a day off, take a vacation, take a trip, take a trip. Discussion, debate, discussion, debate. Seven, boring, boring, interesting, E silent, interesting. This E, the letter E after T is silent, interesting here, interesting. Boss, manager, boss, American, British, boss. American boss, OA. That doesn't like much fun. That doesn't like much fun. That's too boring. That's too boring. That's too boring. That doesn't like much fun. That is too boring. Welcome. 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 Share videos. It's a community. We're all doing this together.